Hi there, it's Adria from kajabiexperts.com. Good Monday. We're starting the week today and we have already some cool questions from the Kajabi Facebook group that I thought it would be nice explaining and creating a video for. In this case, the question it comes from Debbie and she says, Hello, I'm wondering if free offers are being indexed in Google. I do not want my free offers being indexed because they are linked to another payment processor. How do I present, prevent sorry, this from happening? Thanks! So this is a really, really interesting question. And the short answer is by default, everything will be indexed sooner or later. I was talking with her, explaining um, her a little bit how that works. And she said that she tried in, a, in an index, index checker and she put the URL and it was saying that it was not indexed. Well, this can happen because uh, pages take time to be indexed. So the crawlers out there, Google, Bing, uh, Yahoo, the other search engines take, take some time to discover pages and it can take days, months or even years to discover your pages. But eventually they will get discovered somehow and they will be indexed. So if you want to, to prevent this from happening, there are several ways to do that. Again, by default, all the pages are being indexed. Even if you never submit your site to Google, uh, Google will sooner or later figure out the site. Why? For example, if your site is shared in social media, it can discover the site there. If your site is shared in another site, for example, where they include a link to your site, it can be discovered that way. So by default, all the pages are indexed by uh, search crawlers. That's the short answer. If you want to make your site not being indexed by a search crawler, I'm gonna provide you, well, I'm gonna show you how you can do this. There are different ways and we're gonna cover just them in just a second. So. Let's go for it and let's see how we can do that in Kajabi. So I'm now inside appearance and I'm editing my theme. Well, it's not actually my theme, but it's a theme that I installed and that will serve for the purpose of showing how to do that. So if we go to uh, layouts and theme, here we, ca here we have the code that will be executed as always when you load your Kajabi site, unless you have to load a landing page. So this code is going to be executed in your store, in your static pages, in your sales pages, etc. etc. So it will be the theme that will be in your most of your site. So if you don't want any of the content of that theme to be indexed and caution, because what I'm going to show you is going to make your whole site not indexed at all, but we're going to uh, use that for the next step. What you have to do is before the closing head tag, as you can see here in line 22 right now, the closing head tag, we're going to add a new line and we're going to go write, we're going to write the open um, minor or, or well, that sign, however it's called in English. And we're going to say meta name equals robots you can copy the description, the, the text from the description, but it's going to be meta name robots content equals. And here we're going to say the content. So we're going to say uh, for all our pages, we want them no index, comma, no follow, comma, no archive. And we are going to close. So basically we're going to say to the to the our the search search engines we're gonna tell them that our pages are we don't want them to be indexed we don't want to follow the links inside the pages so we don't want if there is any link inside those pages we don't want them to follow those links and we don't want them to keep an archive or of our page so we want them to just ignore our pages at all that would make if we would save now that would make our um, site completely invisible for for the search engine. So our site will disappear 
well, not disappear, but uh, will not appear in the search engines. If, if the page has already been indexed, it can take some days in order for them to realize that this is there and that they should remove your site. That's one way to do that. And that will remove if we, if, as I said, if I would save now, that would uh, put this in my whole site. So that would just remove my site from being indexed. Uh, as, I, as I was saying before, there are several ways to do that. I mean, this is one way and this is the way that you can do it inside Kajabi. There are other ways or you can even just say if you want, for example, just to disallow um, Google from indexing you, you can go to the Google Webmaster Tools, but I'm not going to uh, explain about that topic here in this video. You can say don't index this page, this page, whatever page. But that just works for Google. Still being Yahoo and other search engines will come and will index, index your site. So the the question of uh, Debbie, I think it was the name, sorry if, if it wasn't, uh, was that she wanted only to put that in the free sales pages. So I'm going to show uh, you how you can do that. And that includes a little bit of advanced coding. But before showing you this, I'm going to show you how you can do the same for a landing page. So if you're using a landing page and you want uh, that landing page to be excluded from uh, being indexed, so you want not any search uh, engine to index your site, you're going to do the same. So I'm going to copy this line because it's exactly the same line. And I'm going to go here. I have a test landing page. And again, I'm going to edit the HTML and CSS uh, layouts. No, sorry. Templates index.liquid. And here again, we search for the for the closing tag of head that we have in this case line 28 and we add a new line and we paste it here. We save. And in this case, this landing page, just specifically this landing page won't be indexed. So that would be most cases for most users uh, here. You want a, either your whole site indexed, not indexed, or you want some landing page for whatever reason not being indexed. So that would be for most of the cases. But as I said, I'm I'm uh, I'm I want I want to answer the question of today, so I'm gonna do uh, this for uh, just the free sales pages. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. Again, this is a little bit more advanced. So if you are not happy touching code, uh, just <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> Let's say that way, or <laughs> I don't know, you can hire me or hire someone else to do that for you. As you know, I have kajabiexpress.com and there you can hire me to do that stuff for you. But if you are eager to try and you like to code, then I'm going to show you how you can do that. Basically, I went back, I don't know if you saw it, but I went back to my site theme and uh, what I said that if I would save, that would prevent indexing all the sites. And I just want to make that um, header appear when there is a, a, a sales page that it has a free offer. How are we how are we gonna do that? Okay, so imagine for example that uh, I want to just disable the no index in the following sales page. So in this sales page that I have here, right? Okay, so uh, I have these features landing uh, landing page. Well, it's a, actually it's a sales page. And I want to disable the no index in this sales page. What I need to do is I need to <clears throat> get the ID from here. So in this case, it's 8911. So having that ID, I'm going to copy it. We're going to go here and we're going to say, we're going to open this. I'm just going to go for it. I'm not going to uh, keep on doing that because as, as I said, if this is for coders, if you're a non-coder, you would uh, better hire someone, hire me or hire someone else who can do that for you. So if sales pages dot, sorry, sales page dot ID equals first, we need to make sure that we are in a sales page. So if sales page and sales page dot ID equals 
the number of our sales page, we are just going to, going to write this. So we're going to write the meta and if, and there we have it. So right now we are just writing the meta, no index, no follow, no archive, whenever we are in sales page and that sales page ID, it's the 8911. So we are just non indexing that sales page. So we would now save and our theme will print that out once, just once we are in this sales page. So that's it for this video. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy it. As always, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel to keep updated from the latest videos. And sorry if that video was a little bit uh, complicated for you non-coders, but I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much.